So we decided to do what's called medial branch blocks. So we blocked the medial branch, which is a branch off of the dorsal rami that wraps around the actual lamina and then it's gonna innervate the facet joint. So anybody who has had or know somebody who has had a radio frequency ablation for the spine, whether that's in the neck, the thoracic spine, the low back, it is almost always that nerve that is getting burned, the medial branch, which because it innervates the facet joint. So we did a really, really low volume of just an anesthetic around the medial branch where that is wrapping around the lamina in order to see if we could create some change in her pain for a temporary period of time such that we would be able to determine how much of this pain can be from the facet joint. So we did that and uh, we speak with, we did a, a short and a long acting anesthetic. So we predicted about 12 hours relief immediately after. So initially we just treated C2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5, because it seemed like most of her pain was in the upper. And so we do that and immediately getting off the table, she already reports that she's 80% better. And so that's gonna be from the short acting lidocaine that we use in the injection. So already we know that, hey, there's a huge portion of this pain that is related to the facet joints and maybe even a like, I mean, at 80%, a huge, huge, huge significant uh, portion related to the facet joints. From there, we waited a few days to see what would happen. The next day uh, we talked with her. So now it's been about 24 hours and uh, some of the anesthetic has definitely worn off, but she is still about 30% better, 20 to 30% better. She has more range of motion. It is nowhere near the amount of guarding that she had before. And so uh, we actually saw a positive therapeutic response as well. Now, side tangent, this is sometimes, we see this relatively often where when we have patients in really extreme or really acute pain, just shutting down the, uh, the sensation, the danger signals from the tissue to the brain helps a lot of the time actually reduce the amount of signals that end up coming after the fact. And we are kind of desensitizing the brain to the danger signals such that we are helping to reduce the actual pain even though all we did was temporarily block it and then that pain signals come back online. But we see that we actually can sometimes get a therapeutic response to that.